Don't use the pedal assist on your e-bike when doing this. Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I have nearly 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry. And today I'm gonna to tell you when not to use your pedal assist when you're doing something specifically. Now, before we get into it, hit that subscribe button below, stay in touch with us here at 630. Be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out, giveaways we're doing, and of course, new product releases. I'm coming to you from our corporate office here in San Clemente. I got all of our e-bikes in here, including the Simple Step Through 20 inch. If you wanna check out any of these, they're linked in the description below. Now, e-bikes, pedal assist, they're awesome. So many people love it. The pedal assist is a great way to uh, add some ease to your rides, get up bigger hills, build leg strength, back if you've been off a bike for a while, but there's one thing specifically you should not use the pedal assist for, and that is when you're stopping or parking your e-bike. Now, I see and done lots of test rides, and when people start to come to a stop and they wanna pedal, right, and find a parking spot, that pedal assist kicks in and it becomes hard for them to navigate. So if you're looking to park your e-bike into a bike rack or pull into a tight space, shift it down into zero. Now, uh, when I say shift it, you're gonna have plus minus buttons on your e-bike. All you have to do is take it down to zero. So as you're coming in to stop, put it into zero, then you can pedal and manage your speed a lot better than if you have that pedal assist engaged. And I've seen it before where someone's coming in to slow down, they pedal, the assist kicks on, and they start to get out of control. So it's important, shift it down to zero and find your way to your parking spot. Now, if you believe you can leave it on, I just recommend don't pedaling, maybe glide into your stop. Um, but if you're trying to navigate a tight space, turn the pedal assist off so you can still pedal and find your way to, you, to where you wanna go. I've seen it countless times, like I've said before, is when people come to a stop, they wanna make a little circle or make a U-turn or pull in somewhere, and they still have got the pedal assist engaged, and it's hard for them to manage the speed, and so they're pedaling, stopping, pedaling, pedaling, stopping, pedaling. It's better to just shift it down to zero, turn the motor completely off, and navigate your way. Or the other option is, is switch over to the throttle when you start parking. The throttle is a little bit easier to manage with your thumb or your twisting, and you can relegate the speed a little bit better in tighter spaces. So you don't have the acceleration of the pedal assist, and you can find the perfect um, speed with the throttle. With the pedal assist, it's a little bit harder to manage the speed because when it's on and going, it's going. Now the pedal assist is great when you're up to speed and you're cruising, um, or you're going up hills, it's really awesome. But as you come in for a stop, tight spaces, navigating, just go ahead and turn it off, use your own leg power, um, or stop pedaling and use the throttle to navigate at the end of your ride. I think it's a, it'll be a great way to stay safe. I personally do it, um, and it helps make my rides easier, better, and I feel safer when I come to a stop. Now, if you have any other questions at all, please comment below or reach out to us, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. In addition to that, this e-bike, the Simple Step Through 20 inch and all these e-bikes linked in the description below, you can check them out. And we offer a 30 day test ride your e-bike policy. If you don't love your e-bike in the first 30 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. In addition to that, we're gonna warranty everything for the first year. Anything goes wrong in the first year, send it, we'll take care of it, parts and labor. Uh, lastly, be a part of our community. We have a Facebook group called 630 Peddlers. There's thousands of members in there. Talk to them before you purchase so you feel comfortable with the purchase you made. Then when you have yours, post in the group, make friends, it's a lot of fun. And lastly, download our app and track your rides. You can compete on the leaderboard or just track your rides for fun, it's great. So thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey or experience, enjoy the ride.